All right, give us a wave. <laughs> a few weeks ago, Daryl and I traveled to Seymour in country Victoria following a lead on some World War II era military equipment. What we found was nothing short of astonishing. This isn't a shed, this isn't Aladdin's cave. How good is this? Jono's dad, Robert Parker, was an avid collector of military items for over 50 years. A lifetime of searching for and collecting ex-military vehicles and equipment. He never got round to restoring these three grand tanks, but without his passion and enthusiasm, they all would likely be scrapped and lost to time forever. <laughs> now we're talking. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> Why not? Now that they're out of the scrub, it's time to get these incredible pieces loaded onto trucks and on their way to the next chapter of their journey. We start by having a go at towing the first tank on with the excavator. but it looks like we might need to adjust our approach. Yeah, we're gonna have a go at pushing it on, I reckon. I think dragging it on, you can't quite get it on straight enough, so we'll see how pushing it goes. Turns out a little bit more muscle is required. Those are made short work of that, but now for the real challenge. We have four trucks booked in to transport everything back to our storage facility in far north Queensland, but only two of the trucks have ramps. We'll need to transfer this grant tank carefully onto the other float, but how are we going to get it off? Ah, that's a problem for another day.
skillfully done, fellas. There's a bit more weight allowance on this truck, so Daz gets a few pallets of gear together. Go down there. That's all this truck can handle. Time to load the next tank up. Slow and steady, the Parker brothers sure know their business on these big machines. These 17 pounder barrels are in beautiful condition. Sort of... 
that's tank number two with the turret and the 17 pounder barrels. One more tank now and the rest of the gear. <laughs> going to plan. Got this tank on, we're going to put a turret on it, then we're going to bring in another flatbed and put all the additional stuff we've got on it. Oh, we want that. So, pull it out first. A lot of spiders, probably. <laughs> Flip the other way, I want to see. <laughs> this is another really complete turret with lots of little rare storage boxes and fittings. Truck number three is out and on its way. We have one truck left to load and we've burned a lot of daylight, but it's nothing the lads can't handle.
watch the hire car, Chad. the last loads on the trucks everything's finished we've gone through found stuff we thought we'd never ever find and it's just been brilliant Jono and the boys absolutely brilliant mate we couldn't have done it without them they've got all the machinery they got all the knowledge the job's been done in a day it's fantastic these tanks have a new lease on life and their journey continues as they help educate amaze and fascinate people from all over the world all we have time for today. We'll be back next week for a full Grand Tank restoration update. So until then, I'm Kurt from Oz Armour and I'll see you on the next one.